<laughs> hey y'all, good morning, good afternoon. It's real early in the morning and um I'm 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 really looking rough. I think I look rough anyway, I'm looking real rough now. Um but uh I I thought I'd share this with y'all. Uh, because I don't know how many of y'all don't remember this situation. Um, pretty much everyone does. However, um, it's important that we remember this situation. And, excuse me, it's important that we remember this situation. And we perpetuated by and um just what happened here uh a lot of y'all remember mary Kay latorno convicted of raping 13 year old student she laid in mary she has died of cancer uh latorno died fairly suddenly in her home late monday her former attorney david uh, gary told cnn most of her family was with her, and that's including Billy Valau, her former student and ex-husband who was giving her 24-hour care lap for the last month of her life. Latorno pleaded guilty to raping 13-year-old Falau when she was 34. She gave birth to Falau's child before she served seven years in prison on charges related to the rape. Um... When she was arrested, of course, y'all know that she came out on bail um, or uh, uh, she mol molested him again and the couple had a second child. They then they was found in the car. Um, Latorno and Falau got married in 2005, soon, a soon after she was released from prison. But Falau had filed for legal separation in 2017 just before their 12th year anniversary. It is not clear why Valau um, filed for separation. It, it's unclear to who. Because anybody with a soul would understand why he would file for separation after he got to be a young man. And anybody with a half of a brain that doesn't have a bunch of history laid down, in my opinion, in rape and sodomizing kids would understand that once you become of age and you realize what has happened to you and you realize you've been raped, this is not a love affair, this is rape. And once you begin to realize that you were not, uh, you, you were a victim as opposed to uh, the person that stuck your chest out as a kid and said, oh, I, I screwed the teacher. The older you get with that, you start seeing how much uh, and how crazy this, this woman was to leave her husband and four children to have sex with a 13-year-old brown boy because the lust is always there. There's all, It's always there for white women and men of color. And I, you know, I'm not trying to say anything racist about it. I'm not even trying to say anything wrong with it. But who wouldn't love the Adonises on the planet? And the Queens on the planet? Who wouldn't love them? I mean, they're beautiful. And in their splendid glory, like I told a lot of people when they got mad, I could understand very uh, adoring, uh, 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 sincerely how those European men felt. When they saw all those black bodies with all the muscles shining, picking up shit, muscles bulging out from everywhere, because they know how they look. They was fat and bulgy, and um, or they was looking like they was some starvation, and stringy hair and greasy looking, and no muscles to boot. The Africans were strong. They had bodies like Adonis, and that's who they were. So it does not surprise me one bit for the attraction for the original man on the planet, nor does it uh, surprise me one bit um, 
that deep down everybody wants to have a trish, a tryst with the original woman on the planet. Now, whether she recognizes her power or not, that is irrelevant here. The fact that I'm trying to say is sexually attractiveness and just carnal, straight out lust. It has always been done from the European to the black or the brown body. Okay. So I just want to make that clear for those of y'all and for those of y'all who say it was a love story. It was a love story just like Sally Hemmings and Thomas Jefferson. A lot of y'all think that was a love story. But most of us uh, who can relate to Sally Hemmings and who are, are the same hue as a Sally Hemmings, we knew it was another way for you to justify rape. And then be a president and say, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. And you down there raping somebody's child. There's a YouTuber that tried to correct me when I said, no, 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 no. I think um, white uh, mentality is the mother and father of all narcissistic behavior. And um, she thought that was a little offensive. Maybe a lot of y'all feel that way too. But I don't. And I feel like some of the early people that came out of those dregs and jails and um, that were sent over here by the queen were ruins of society. Of course they had problems. Of course they was mental. Of course they, was, they were crazy. That's who started this damn country. The narcissistic people. The crazy people, the people that came out of the jails that were the pl or, or the peasants, the low lights of Europe came over and started America. Would y'all remember that shit? And I know it seems like I'm reaching a little bit and we want to get back to Mary Kay Latorno. But my point is I'm sick and tired of y'all making love stories for yourself to justify what was actually rape. And that's basically what it comes down to. And so for those of us who got our... Um, in DNA mixed up with the peasants, they're all part of our DNA as well. Just like we part of theirs. That's why I gotta claim America. <laughs> because we all mixed up now. And that's why I'm not taking no shit from these crazy people. You understand what I'm saying? Anyway, the article was wrote written by Madeline Holcomb and uh, Jennifer Henderson. And um, it's a very uh, sad ending to a woman who had um, so much potential with a family and ended up um, in such a disgrace. I mean, such a disgrace for her family. Uh, I, I have a big enough heart that I feel compassion for her former husband. Her ex-husband, her first husband, who had to take his kids and run away because he found out that his wife was screwing one of her students. There was no way she could have passed the baby off. The baby brown, the man white, uh -uh. wouldn't have happened. Anyway, with that being said, y'all, to tell you, rest in peace, rest in, wow, what do you say, you got to meet your maker now, and he's the final judge of what you did, it's not me or my position to do that, so rest in peace, Mary Kay Latournum.